Well, we think we've got the layout all worked out now and it's time to get started. And the first thing we're going to do is the soundproofing. There's a real debate online about whether soundproofing is necessary or not. There's a number of different products, Rattletrap, Killmat, and two or three other ones I can't remember the name of. They're available from Amazon, they're available from car, uh, car supply places. There's a debate about which one's more effective, which one works better. There's a debate about whether or not you're going to insulate and if you're going to insulate, whether you need it or not. Depending on the insulation you're going to use, some people will say you need more or you need less. But for our, from our perspective, it's a no-brainer. It's a couple of hundred dollars, and it has to go on before anything else goes into the van. If after you're all done, you decide, gee, I wish I hadn't done that, well, you can't do it anymore. So for a couple of hundred bucks on a project this size, we're just going to do it anyway. This was a very easy material to work with. All you need is a straight edge, a sharp knife, and something to cut against. I tried using scissors, but truthfully, they kind of hurt my fingers. I don't have a big workbench, so I put a piece of scrap plywood on the floor in the foyer, marked out what I needed, and just put the metal side down and the paper side up, and it was really simple to work with. After you've got the pieces cut, the important part of the process is making sure that you've, you're putting them on a clean surface. In a new van, that's important. In a used van, that's even more critical. So we were very careful with how we cleaned up. We scrubbed it all with uh, soapy water and let it sit for a day, then wiped it down with a dry cloth, and then wiped it all down with a Varsol solution. Again, let it sit for a day, and uh, wiped it all down with a dry cloth again, making sure our substrate was really clean. Putting it on, heat makes things a little bit easier. It wasn't as cold as it looks for, by the way we're dressed, but warming up the panel a little bit and warming up the material a little bit makes things go together really well. And once it's stuck on, you just use the roller to push the little air bubbles out of the metal uh, uh, outside face. We paid particular attention to the wheel wells because we were told by someone who was experienced that on rainy days, the noise in the wheel wells can be really tough to listen to. So we put a, a real solid layer on those. The other panels we tried to cover between 50 and 60 percent of the panel. Apparently that's going to be fine. All in all, it was an easy thing to do. Looks pretty good when it's done. And now that it's done, we can move on to the next step. 